What's up everybody, it's your boy T-Dubs back again, never stopping, never quitting. I want to let y'all know that this is the T-Dubs Show. And you can check out my show, as well as others, on the Exquisite Podcast Radio Network. Alright, now today's show is going to be based off family. It's going to be called Family Matters. And I wanted to address this topic, I really wanted to discuss this topic because a lot of us are missing our own family in the ministry. It's, it's, it's keeping us from being full, it's keeping us from being whole, it's keeping us from being complete. And what we need to do in our lives is keeping us from fulfilling our destiny. I'm going to give you some reasons why family is important, it's why family matters. It matters because, one reason I'm going to give you, because it relates in uh, accordance to uh, what you do in ministry. When you're trying to minister to people, whether it be through music, whether it be through uh, pastoral, uh, whether you're preaching or a teacher, evangelist, any of those, you're more effective when you have a family behind you because you have favor with God. When you have, when you have marriage, when you have, you have people to enjoy your life with, because there has to be a balance. Because if you're in ministry and you don't have anyone to enjoy your life with, you don't have anyone to go do things with, it's going to hinder. Um, it's going to hinder your life It's going to hinder what you do in worship It's going to hinder what you do in the church Because there will be so many uh, Only thing you're going to be focused on is church Work, church, work, church, work It can get That can uh, be, be depression at times It can cause depression It can cause you to be miserable Because you don't have anyone to enjoy your life with It's all good, well and good that you're in ministry It's all well and good that you're a servant It's all well and good that you're, uh, that you're working or, or whatever things like that But you also need uh some responsibility added to your life because the wife is a responsibility, the husband is a responsibility, children are a responsibility. But however, you can use that to motivate you to do better, to motivate you to do better in life, to motivate you to uh, operate better in the workforce. But we're gonna get to the workforce in a minute. But it's gonna enhance your ministry because you have someone pushing you, have someone in your corner, you have balance also because if you're just doing ministry, ministry, ministry. You're going to be drained out. You're going to be tired out. That's why a lot of us in ministry, we tend to get miserable. We tend to get uh, upset, angry, frustrated. But we get drained and tired out too also because we don't have anyone to pour into us. We don't have anything that's going to feed us like we are feeding the people that we're serving and ministering to. So we need something coming into us. If we're constantly distributing, 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 we need someone to distribute to us, which is our family, which is our spouse. Or our children, they pour life back into you. When you spend time with them, even when you uh, uh, go to the park with them, if you go on out to eat, have fun, go to the movies with them, those kind of things bring put life back into you. Even if it's not necessarily just praying for you, they're all they're pouring life back into you because you're enjoying yourself, you're enjoying moments, you're enjoying memories with these people. Now it's uh now the wife does, although the wife does pray for the husband and, and things like that, cover the husband. But um, we know that too. But also, there's but there are more ways that a wife can pour into the husband and things like that, especially when it comes to romance and uh, <clears throat> and spending time with them. That's all. Both of those are very important to a marriage, and we we're needing that. We're lacking in that. A lot of marriages are failing because we don't do the romance. We don't do what we feel like we need to do. We don't know how to apologize to people we don't know how to humble ourselves and and try to fix what's going on in our marriages and fix what's going on in our families we may have disagreements with each other and we don't choose to work it out we don't choose to to come together and agree and pray and talk to each other about it and settle it because god holds marriage to the highest he even holds marriage above ministry that's how serious he feels about it so we need to take heed to this and go Towards this, we need to, we need to uh, gravitate towards family. We need to go, go back to family in the ministry. We need to go back to family and society. We need to start back preaching on family. We need to start back ministering about family because it's one of the most important things that we need in the church, in society, as a whole, and everything. We need family. It's very important that we have it, that we have balance because it creates balance. It causes us to have more balance in our life because you have to enjoy your life. You have to. It creates good memories, it creates lasting memories, it creates smiles and enjoy all the peace and joy that you need comes from your family. It's gonna come from that. Your wife, your kids, all of that matters. Marriage is we we, we tend to downplay marriage, we tend to we we 
what you call people that what people today would say they say you sleep on we sleeping on marriage. We downplay it, we say it's not um, it's not worth having or it's not good or we don't want to have it. But in actuality it's God's masterpiece, it's God's creation. God created marriage because the reason don't let your marriage, don't let your bad experience from being married cause you to fear marriage. Because marriage is a beautiful thing. Marriage was created by God. Marriage is an anointing. Marriage is, is holiness. It's godly. It's perfect. And a lot of people uh, are imperfect and unqualified and choose to get married. That's why marriage doesn't work for a lot of people. Because a lot of people that are unqualified get married. And it, it becomes a disaster. So we have to be careful about that. We have to make sure we're qualified and we find someone that is qualified. But we're going to take a short break and I will, uh, we're going to finish this conversation. We're going to talk about why marriage helps with workforce and any other areas in your life. And don't go anywhere because I will be back. Everybody's got a blank page, a story they're writing today, a wall that they're climbing. You can carry the past on your shoulders. You can start over regrets No matter what you've gone through Jesus, he gave it all to save you He carried the cross on his shoulders So you can start over Don't let your heart be troubled Don't be afraid To the broken hearted that wish is bad Never been born, never been torn Never sinned, never disobeyed I know you think there's no hope No, but that ain't true Jesus saved I know you feeling regret Like I Brought this all on myself Like I Messed it up big time And this time I don't deserve God's help Thinking How can God forgive me? After knowing what I hid Penny After knowing that I hid from him And I stayed away and backslid Listen Jesus came for the sick So true Jesus came for the weak Amen Jesus came to give good news And to set the captives free Amen. Listen Jesus came for the poor Amen Jesus came with the keys Amen Jesus came to remove the chains So, so the prisoners Every man has got a blame In the ocean floor Run to his arms like an open door God the Father sent the sons So men can come and be free and gotta run no more Come to me all who are weary With heavy burdens I'll give you rest Separating you from your sin As far as the east is from the west Thrown in a sea of forgetfulness What sin, what offense And when them waves come crashing in I'll calm the winds in your defense So whatever it is that you've done He put that punishment on his son You'll never come under his condemnation Conquer sin and Satan and his accusations So dry your eyes, lift up your head Hallelujah God is not Amen. dead Plus he gave us his peace His peace And he took our guilt on the cross instead Took our place and now we embrace A clean slate with the eyes of faith We do Unfailing love Unfailing love Everybody's It's not too late Start over A story that Alright now welcome back to the T-Dub show And where we left off was how marriage Could affect you uh, and family anyway Family overall How it can uh, enhance your ministry And how it can enhance your your overall life Now we're going to talk about How it can enhance your workforce Slash career Because a lot of times we, um, We're wondering why we can't Be successful in our careers or, our, or we don't have the drive that we need Or the motivation we need to do better on our jobs or whatever it is we want to do to make uh, to make money in the area that we're passionate about. Now, 
if you have your the spouse that you need if you have the right spouse the right wife in your life or husband anyone any kind of thing like that you're going to be more motivated you're going to be more inspired because that person is going to push you to be the best you that you could be but a lot of uh, a lot of people that are successful in what they do they have their spouse behind them pushing them they have their spouse behind them motivating them and uh taking them to the next level constantly challenging them to do better you can do this or you can you know you can you should go do this you should apply for this job you should apply for this position or you should start your own business you can do it i believe in you those kind of things when you have somebody like that in your ear that makes a big difference in where you go and where you and how far you go in life and uh i can even tell you from my own experience that um i didn't have the motivation for a while to do the things that i wanted to do to do uh start my own business things like that i didn't have that motivation i know it comes from i had learned this myself that it comes from having the right people in your life having the right person in your life that will push you that will motivate you even without telling you to do this do that just them being there and uh them filling in those gaps that you have missing in your life it will it will give you that drive it'll give you that push that motivation that you need to to string yourself on to to keep going to, 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 even when you don't feel like going anymore they can fill you right back up they can refill you in that area also not only spiritually but in this area too and as far as in, in come, when it comes to your career when it comes to your success you're going to be motivated by your spouse by your family by your children also to keep going to keep going you could you, you're gonna have in your mind look i can't give up i can't stop i got people depending on me i have people um that are depending on my uh, on how how well i do on my success on i got people that look up to me that are going to be counting on me to to succeed because sometimes you want to set the example for your children you want to set uh you want to make your wife proud your husband proud things like that so we have to we're, we're going to be we're going to look at that a lot when we're um, once we have a family but if it's just us by ourselves we tend to get off into something and be like uh i don't know if i want to do that anymore or, I, don't, I don't know if i want to keep going with this i'm not really just into it anymore i'm not feeling it anymore but if you have somebody in your ear pushing you motivating you you can do it don't stop keep going you got this you're amazing you're awesome you're going to succeed in this you're going to surpass all that you even think that you can do everything that you think you're going to do you're going to exceed that you're going to exceed all of this you're going to go past whatever your mind is whatever your mind whatever the cap that you have in your mind you're going to bust that wide open you're going to go far beyond that and that's a beautiful thing to have somebody that's behind you have somebody that's in your corner that's pushing you to go up and beyond what you even thought that you can do that can help you go past what you thought your potential was that's why i say family does matter it really does because this is the key to your success it's the key to all success it's the key to your success in ministry it's the key to your success in your career it's the key to your success in your life it's the key to your success and when it comes to you being happy when it comes to you um getting where you need to go it, it it just it it takes this a lot of even i've talked with a lot of successful men uh that were successful in life and they always said uh it was their wife that allowed them to get to the point that they are in their life a lot of great men wouldn't be the great men that they are without their wives without their families and it takes that to become great it takes it takes a family to become this it, it it's hard if not impossible to succeed to get to where a lot of these people are without someone in their corner without someone in their ear they had people in their ear if it wasn't for this they would not have they would have given up a long time ago they wouldn't have made it and it's just it's it's, it's a beautiful thing when you think about it because you're not going to be it you're not going to be the great you're not going to achieve the greatness without having somebody else great in your corner even though they might not have a billion dollars in their pocket and all of that it doesn't matter it's all about who they are on the inside it's all about their character it's all about what if, if they're there for you or not if they're willing to be there through thick and through thin through sickness health and all of that and it, it takes somebody like that that's going to be there for you 
to make sure you get to where you need to go to and someone that's going to agree with your vision that's going to agree with your plan that's going to agree with everything that you want to do and it's going to do what it takes to push you to get there the moral of the story is family does matter because without it you would not reach your full potential you would not reach your full potential in ministry and you would not reach your full potential in your daily life even if you do become a billionaire without family you're still going to be miserable you're still going to have things missing in your life you're still going to feel unfulfilled you're still going to be uh you're still going to have a lot of depression issues you're still going to have a lot of misery issues unless you just don't have a family mindset but even then you're still going to feel like something's missing so um but that's my time and i love each and every one of you all and nothing y'all can do about it i hope y'all learned something thanks for tuning in if you live for god believe in what he say and he's going to take you a mighty long way y'all be blessed i love y'all